Good thing I've never bragged about being clever. Okay. So we're at a safe house with Sykes. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Oh. Here's where it's located. Well, I'm sure that's not gonna... Wow. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm really happy uh, when I first We've played lost this game. With them. Uh, We're totally I, uh, we don't I saw them. that, you know. We're all gonna die. In here. Like, Unless here's, here's the game. How is that? It looks really cool. And then I played it. You waste your time. And I really liked it. But, like, the first one was pretty ass. to do is turn it on. And how did the server go off like people, in the first place? Like I, I, I watched like you turn on that server, some of the uh, the early videos of some lit players. A part out there. I'm you know, not to spoil myself. And they're like, ah, oh, look at this, look at this. And like, given some of them were bumble fucking assholes, like didn't know the uh, way around. Uh, and the almighty Mobius. Hey. But it seems like everyone has turned around, and the mutual consensus is now this game is a masterpiece. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now all I don't get is that so, people are really sticking it to uh, Wolfenstein, uh, the new Colossus. I fucking loved it. Like that, that's on my list of uh, of the best games to come out in 2017. And people are hating it, and I kind of sort of maybe understand some of the hate because you know it's, it's not not exactly anything super new about it. But what's there is amazing. Right, huh? So, missions. Uh. Oh. Okay, so this is like a side thing. Or rather, the most of it feels like it's mostly cutscenes. Well. Oh, fuck me. Um, there is a lot of cutscenes in it. I will not deny that. But you're talking with a guy who loves Metal Gear. So that's hardly an issue for me. I, honestly, when I played it, I didn't really, you know... Like, I didn't really notice that. XP became a good OS when Windows 7 came out and became the coolest shit since sliced bread after they stopped patching. I'm, uh, I'm gonna say no to that. Just go over here, beat up this box, and then I'm gonna beat up this box. And I'm gonna beat up this box. I'm gonna take the smoke powder, these weapon parts, and maybe I can find some cool shit in this. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, and I'm full health. Uh. This is awkward. Alright, so I, I thought you finished this game. Not that it's better, but... Yeah, no! Uh, from what I hear, this game is actually pretty fucking long. Um, I, I, like, I talk with Alice about this, and it's kind of, like, a thing. And it's only a thing for me. But instead, uh, like, I, I want to play this game. But I have to, like, stream it. Oh, uh, let's play it, because, well, I've set out to that. It, it would suck, you know, to just stop. But, but I really want to play it. Okay, what else do I want to play? Well, I want to play, you know, Dragon's Dogma. And, but, oh, wait, I'm, I'm doing a let's play of that. 
Oh, I keep bringing up Final Fantasy VII as a, as a thing that, you know, like, I would fix it in this, this situation. What the fuck kind of... Oh, it's because I don't have a key. So, like, there's all these games that I want to play, but I kind of have to LP them. So, look forward to me probably streaming and let's playing a lot more in the future. <laughs> Wait, in the marrow, doesn't that mean that I have to go into the first person view area? Bollocks. Oh. Hey, Hayden. No, that's the that's the thing. My Final Fantasy VII Let's Play was never finished, and that's what I want to do. I want to finish it. Because, like... I'm in the same place with Final Fantasy VII as I am with Yosh, in that I think I have played enough to ha at least have an opinion of it, but I could still do with, you know, doing it some more to add some credibility to my opinion. Right, and my opinion is, it's a pretty good Final Fantasy game, but that's not really saying a lot. Oh well. It's saying something. Hi, baby girl. You wouldn't happen to know how to find this thing, do you? Yes, yeah, so I'll play lightning. Like, hey, here's the thing. I won't, you know, like, like, dance around the subject. Yes, I will be doing a let's play of Final Fantasy 13, the entire series at some point. But today is not today. I can only, I can only, you know, live with myself with one Final Fantasy LP at a time. And uh, there will be cheats to circumvent all the grinding, because I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> Foo, Final Fantasy VII, when I cheated you, you seem to be just going and going and going and going, and how long would it be if you have to grind? <laughs> but Raisa, we don't want you to kill yourself. You, <laughs> Alice, I can't wait for the day you formally admit you were wrong and I was right uh, in perfect. Well, you were the one that said, uh, this, uh, this Castlevania show on Netflix, it seems, it seems a little boring. It seems a little, you know, shitty. This is boring. I, I, I don't see what, what the big hoo-ha is here. Didn't I have a flashlight? Oh. Oh. oh, there we go. How the f fuck? Some but oh. well, that was surprisingly and kind of worryingly easy. Oh, bottles! I'm surprisingly happy to see those. Okay, are we gonna come out against like a big fucking grudge lady? Seems like that worked. Wait. Guess I should go back to Sykes. Really? Oh, there we are. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Those bottles are left over for uh, Les Linda's drinking game. Yeah! You know, this looks like the place you would be enjoying Les Linda's. That's kind of unfair, isn't it? Ali Ali Like I can see you clipping through the wall. Oh, an axe. That means Thank you. If <laughs> only fuck you had bottles left over. Like, if the drinking game still continued with Les Linders, I kind of feel like at this point we would just be, you know, devouring the bottle just to, to just to die by eating glass shots from how terrible it's becoming. We actually had a talk about this in the Discord, and I want to repeat it just because right now I'm recording. And I feel like it's a sentiment that, uh, that deserves to be brought to be. Am I even going the right way? Probably not. Uh, but it's a sentiment that, that needs to be repeated. And it's that... I, I, I was kind of asking myself, like, why is it that I still, to this day, will, like, so blatantly hate Les Lindas, but I will give, like, Elseron Chronicles a pass? Kinda, sorta, maybe, and 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 should like um, what what are the horrible cards like uh, Angel Corp or Craving Control or Project Second? Like, why is it that Les Lindas is the punching bag that it is? And I think we reached like a, a pretty good conclusion. And it's that, it, first of all, it's obviously the fact that Les Linders had the potential to actually be good, but they just squander it because they wanted to focus too much on boost. But they also wanted to, while creating this tone of, you know, like, hey, everything is fun and la 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 la, happy, goofy, lol, big boobies. Um, but at the same, uh, but. Like, that's kind of... Like, I can pardon that? So, why is it that I have this issue? And the reason why I have this issue is because... And this is what we, we found out. Is because Les Lindas is, like, the sales practice of it all. And how little of a fuck they really seem to give. And I re understand that this is an issue that only really, like... Is not a lot of people can have. Uh... And not, but but I, I'm not saying, you know, like, oh, I'm more clever than the average bear or anything like that. It's more the, the fact that... Oh, okay. Whoa, two for the price of one. Oh, okay. Stop it, Uh, but it's an issue not a lot of people can have, and I especially have it because I read as many webcomics as I do, and I talk with as many webcomic artists or writers as I do. And so, when you see these people, who are typically, you know, struggling, really putting their nose to the grindstone, making a lot of personal sacrifices to get their work done, having deadlines that are more or less killing them... <laughs> Okay. It might have seen me. No, no, it's fine. What the fuck are you doing, Seabed? Um. So when when you're having this, you know, these people who are, who are you know struggling like that, but you can see through their hard work and the trials and tribulations that they overcome, how much they care for the project and like they will like they will look through their comics eight times nine times 20 times a day just to make sure that 
you know, everything is on point. There's no inconsistencies. They go over with a fine tooth comb, make sure that like the hand they are drawing is on point and that the anatomy is fine. They make sure that the characters flow consistently and they have like wait with uploading something to someone else, like an editor or something, or a friend has proofread it. Like they really, you know, go the extra mile. And they don't really get any sort of major recognition. Uh, and so you have that. And then you have Les Linders, who, let's face it, and this is no, like, for once it's not, you know, a jab at, at towards the, you know, the creators of the comic or anything. But they just bumble fucking their way around. And like, for example, the latest thing as of this recording is that Taffy, the sweet innocent bunny that wanted to, you know, wait until, uh, until after marriage uh, with sex and stuff like that, has now just started f like out of fucking nowhere, gone to Randall and be like, I want you to fuck me in the shower. Like, isn't that how you want your first time to be? Getting fucking railed in the shower, like let, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure a lot of people that you, like a lot of you people don't know this, but it's hardly the most practical place of having sex. It's cramped, it's slippery, and it's dry. In all, like it's slippery in the wrong places, and it's dry in the wrong places. Let's put it like that. And like it, and from the looks of things, like he's straight up railing her up the ass, like because of the art. And, and it's, like, clear that this is just because, like, this is what the, the, the audience and the readers wanted. They wanted, you know, this, this like, oh, I want these two to be together because I want to see Taffy getting bukkake or whatever the fuck, right? And it shows that they didn't have a plan. They didn't have, like, oh, this character is going to be this character. Like... Like, I, I complain about it being the five-man five band when I initially re reviewed it, but that, it's not even that anymore. Uh, because, like, oh, no, people are starting yelling at us that they want so, uh, her to get the dick. Well, guess we have to have her get the dick then, because we don't have a story to tell. For right now, this is, like, the literal, you know, understanding of the of the sentence, or well, the word, fan service. So they're just, you know, doing this for the fans. And while I can appreciate that, you, you gotta remember that people are, like, go doing hard work to, like, please fans with stuff that they don't know they need or want. Like a story they deeply care about and they want people to enjoy the thing that they, they too care about. But here it's just like, it's basically the same as going up to a porn artist and be like, hey, can you draw my character getting fucked? And, you know... For all intents and purposes, that's kind of fine, but you gotta remember, these pe these are people who are like, they're making a lot of fucking money, and they're like, the fucking, like, epitome of the, f of the porn furry community thingy. And they're doing nothing to deserve it. They, they, they don't, you know, work extra hard or anything. They just bumblefuck their way around, and sometimes they strike gold, and when they do, they just milk it for whatever it's worth. And it, and the reason why that annoys me so much is because, well, I have seen the people who are struggling, and now, you, like, it's basically seeing someone, you know, really working hard on a test, and then you have, like, someone who is basically copying off of some place, or maybe even fucking, you know, blowing the teacher in the hopes of getting a good grade, and they, you know, pass in, in better, uh, in more flying colors than the b people who work for it. Is this, is this injustice of where hard work doesn't equal you know like pay and that annoys me that sickens me especially because you know i'm so closely attached to the people who actually do you know work hard for it and when we were talking about this <laughs> this isn't a jab 10 minute brand in suit <laughs> well well, you know, like, it can still be a rant, it's just not necessarily an attack. And, uh, <laughs> I'll just apply my vodka to the IV drum. 
Um, and while we were talking about this, someone brought up something really, really interesting. And this is something that I don't, you know, like, I hadn't really thought about. And it's that, say you got... And I'm gonna use myself as an example, because that's what the person in question used as an example. Not, you know, to, hey, look at me, I'm the king of cheese. No, but, you know, because that's the example that was used, and it's the one that I'm most familiar with. And it's that, um... You have less Lindas. I know you make it back. Ah, uh, hi, Sykes. Uh, who will, you know, like, pay me, what is it, $50 a month or whatever? Yeah, I'm and I'll put your name on, on the page. See if you can open that one there. Uh, uh, like, on the latest page. And, and I'm like, I do that for a single dollar. And, like, oh, you get access to the raffle, but, yeah, a lot of people get access to the raffle. And even then, I'm not, in, you know, sure that I win the raffle. There's a chance I might win the raffle, and I might get a, a piece done. Holy crap! I didn't think I would get one of these. But I'm happy for it. Oh. I don't need to talk like this big. Pew pew! I can be like, uh, I can be like, uh, a James Bond. Thanks again for helping me out. Can you really do it? Get out of Union? Like I said, I'm gonna give it my best shot. But there's a ton of data I gotta scrub through before I can even start. I just hope I can do it before this place turns into a pile of gravel and guts. It's gonna take me... So what happens if you get out of Union? If I can make it out of the Mobius building alive, first thing I'm gonna do is disable my damn chip. Chip? Yeah. Everybody in Mobius has got a subdermal chip in their head. Sort of like an RFID, but way more advanced. And I mean everybody. From the administrator all the way down to the guy who cleans the toilets. And you submit to that willingly? Like they say, membership has... That chip will open a lot of doors for you if you... The downside is, with that chip in place, they can make my life a living hell if they think I disobeyed them. I guess you can worry about that if you make it out of here. I might be interested in getting out of here too. You're welcome to, but I'm not gonna wait. I'm leaving here as soon. Your best bet is to hang out here with me and wait until I- No way. I'm not le Theoretically, if you find her, you'll restore this place and- I'd prefer to take Lily out the back. Mobius just wants to plug her back into STEM. And God knows what they've got planned for me. If we could just get out when they're not looking. Well, either way, I've got a lot of work to do. Otherwise, n let's pair up our communicators. Yeah, okay. Good luck out. 